Do you start your day with a cup of coffee? Well, you're not alone. In the United States, over 450 million cups of coffee are consumed every day. But what many people don't know is that the coffee you love is actually in trouble. Around the world, climate change is dramatically affecting coffee farming regions. And over the next 30 years, half of all coffee farms will need to be moved uphill to cooler growing regions, resulting in continued deforestation of precious rainforests. You know, we love coffee, but we don't feel good about our morning cup causing environmental harm. So we asked ourselves, could we make a great cup of coffee without the bean? Could we reverse engineer coffee to be more sustainable? So we started in our lab and we studied the molecular makeup of traditional coffee. There are hundreds of volatile and non-volatile compounds, which together create an amazing aroma, body, color, taste, and caffeine that we all love. We call these components the big five. And to recreate coffee, we would need to copy each one of these critical categories. We started our journey with aroma because brewed coffee smells amazing. There are hundreds of compounds in coffee, which when blended together, make the fruity, nutty, roasty, and chocolatey aroma of coffee. So to recreate aroma for molecular coffee, we identified the same aromatic compounds in other more sustainable plants, which when reacted in our lab, smell just like coffee. When you drink coffee, your mouth and tongue are coated in a velvety liquid. This coating sensation comes from the organic acids oils, proteins, and polymers in the cup. To replicate this experience, we start with upcycled plant materials. And through a series of procedures, we can reproduce that magical velvety mouthfeel of coffee. Coffee's color is generated during roasting and extracted during brewing, providing that rich dark color in your cup. Our extraction process contributes pigments from natural ingredients, enabling us to exactly match the color of coffee. Coffee has a naturally bitter flavor, which is developed during the roasting process. And although coffee is loved by millions, 68% of coffee drinkers do not like the bitter taste of coffee. Our scientists can finally tune the bitter compounds and create an ultra smooth cup of coffee. And of course, we have to talk about caffeine, the world's most widely consumed stimulant. Approximately 60 plants naturally create caffeine such as cacao, tea, and cola nuts. And through our molecular process, we can add as much or as little natural caffeine as desired. So how do you drink your coffee? Atomo replicates your coffee experience today, scoop for scoop. Whether you're using coffee grounds, coffee beans, or enjoying a ready-to-drink beverage, Atomo's naturally derived, sustainable ingredients deliver all the taste and results you expect from coffee without harming the environment. We encourage you to join us. We're Atomo Molecular Coffee, and we're making a better cup of coffee that's better for the environment.